Okay, so now you're ready to begin to think about using GIS in-house. Uh, what would it take? Where do I find the software? What do I need to know? Um, I'll, as far as I know, um, most GIS programs are PC-based. I don't work on a Mac, so I'm not really familiar whether there's GIS programs for Macs out there. There might be some, but from what I understand, most GIS programs are PC-based. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the industry standard is called ArcGIS and is provided by a, a company um, called Esriata, uh, Redlands, California, and is current is now available on TechSoup. It's a it's a um, recent edition, and I must say I was glad to see it because um, it helps me realize that more folks are thinking about using this technology seriously. There's also a variety of open source programs. There's a free downloadable GIS program called Quantum GIS that has been created by a, a open source development community that um, provides the user to do many, many of the basic functions such as um, certainly locating places on the ground, um, putting buffers around places, say you want to understand what's within three miles of a given location. Um, you're able to do some measuring to nearby features. Um, a lot of the basic functions that folks need to do, they could do in that software package. Um, there's other open source programs out there. We um, most recently got a website built in Drupal. I know there's an org organizations that are working to build mapping applications um, that can be supported by Drupal architecture. Um, GIS and um, computer mapping is really entering all worlds now. Um, and so there's a variety of ways you can, you can use it. Um, again, with the advent of um, Windows Live Local, Google, uh, Google Earth, Google Maps, other browsing mapping applications. There's a way to incorporate that or use that as base information to begin to view. You can um, provide um, small files on your website for download. Um, one of the things that we've done most recently is taken all of the land use data that we use in, in local governments. Oftentimes local governments if they don't have a large budget or a large staff, they have trouble accessing um, ground feature information for their own communities. So we're taking the 10 top data layers that every local government should have in-house and uh, creating them in what's, KML, what's called KML format, which can be read by Google Maps and Google Earth. So we can take uh, files, say, of their groundwater or their wetlands and create small files, bundle them up, 10 files together, and uh, put them available for download. So anybody in that community now can begin to interact with the data that's available for their own area. Um, so there's a variety of ways to get involved, to start thinking about, or to start learning about geographic information systems programs. Um, the applications come from very thick applications that require significant computer processing depending on um, what it is you're trying to do with it to very light applications that are easy to use and um, are primar primarily um, used to view data as opposed to do heavy analysis. So whatever your need is, there's probably a product out there that um, can serve it. Um, the learning curve is becoming lower, again, depending on what you need to do. Some uh, organizations do the lightweight work in-house and um, hire out um, more heavy analysis if that, need, if that need be. But there's folks out there, there's organizations, like I said, there's Metro GIS. is a great place to go to start looking for information about GIS and how to use it. They also have an online maps page that you can make your own maps and you don't even have to use your own computer. The Land Management Information Center, um, uh, Minnesota Geospatial Information Office at the state uh, was actually just recently created by the legislature last year uh, to provide more coordination services among GIS. 
There is an organization called the GIS LIS Consortium that puts on a conference and low cost trainings every year. So you put GIS in Minnesota into your browser and you will come up with all kinds of information about how to access GIS and begin to use it. Thank you.